Before we start the show today, I just thought I'd say thank you to Ken. He uh, won the CNC uh, high-speed router machine, uh, I guess last week, I think it was. And he decided that he was tr doing some traveling through Texas and said, hey, can I just stop by and pick it up? And so, hey, Ken, come on by and pick it up. Yes, absolutely. And he gave me a bag full of Bucky Nuts. <laughs> That's a local thing. <laughs> While he was here. <laughs> thank you, Ken, for coming by that saves that actually saves me some money for paying for shipping <laughs> and it was a nice visit although it was too short but it is what it is anyway let's get to the show today and let's let's talk about a tool yeah <laughs> howdy folks and welcome to coffee and tools and it's hacker monday and we've got a win it's a really nice work table for a drill press but it's for a win drill press but i'm gonna put it on a craftsman drill press yeah let's see if we can do this okay hang with me Boom, so here it is, the Wren <laughs> yeah. drill press table. Now, I'll just show you a quick picture of this monkey so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and hold it upside down for the camera. This is uh, actually set up for the Wren drill press, so, <clears throat> you know, yeah. But it should technically, the way it looked to me in the uh, diagrams, is like, you know, I think this will fit just about, just about almost anything. So, we're gonna unbox it and install it. And let's see, we start out with, oh boy, no, hardware, oh, got hardware. Also have a back fence, which is really nice. The only reason I'm going with this is, to uh, be honest with you guys, is price. It's, it, this was, I can't make one for this price right now. Uh, cost of wood, you know. <laughs> and this one had some features in it that I thought were kind of interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to talk quick about the features because this is another reason to buy something that's finished product like this because it's got the track already here. You've got two long bolts that will hold the fence back here with adjustables. So you can, you know, slide the fence to whatever position you need. You also have a stop block kit here. And again, you can loosen this off and put the stop block wherever you think you need it for a particular type of production run or something you want to do. It's a really handy work table. For a drill press and it has enough features again i can't quickly cheaply manufacture this kind of thing so this production item here looks like a pretty good item now i'm going to show you how this is going to work or how this is supposed to work you've got two areas here with the long uh, bolts with these big you know t type handles on them and you've got these clamps and the clamp is simply going to grab the work the old existing work table that you had the metal one here on with the drill press so technically you should be able to put this on almost any drill press now I'm gonna jump on that because I have a Delta here in the shop and this will not work with that Delta unless you modify modify it somehow because it will not work the reason is is a, um, I'll show it I'll show you the reason is this has this little handle back here that you can slide this up and down with. The Delta has an absolutely big crank handle which actually hits and interferes over here which would hit obviously this work table. If it was mounted you wouldn't be able to adjust the height. <laughs> Not a very good situation. But uh, the other features is like it has this little lift out uh, plate right here so you can have a work surface here. Or if you want to go down through you can remove this and you have this area below you where the drill you know, the drill bit could go through and it's not going to hurt the table, it's not going to hit anything. Um, so, it's a, it's got features. Let's take that out of there for a second. I shouldn't have put that back in there right now. Because really what I wanted to look at was these clamps. And I think in this situation, I'm going to put the clamps in um, on this the closer bolt section here. I think it's going to work. I do believe it will work. And the big problem you're going to have, these are studs. So you want the stud to go up to where it's reasonably tight, where it sort of bottoms out. There we go. Wow. Okay, we're still going, going, going. Come on, doesn't break. Yeah, it's still going. Wow. Okay, there we go. And we'll do the same on the other side. Uh, I'm going to make these uh, reasonably... I'm going to try to get them close together. I think the closer together they are, the better grip you're going to have on the table. So. Yeah, and at that point, you can just clamp this on and use it, 
And when you're, if you decide you want the drill press for, say, a metal job or something else, you can, you know, un you can just slip this off and slide it out of there. Now let's see if it's going to work because uh, I've got to slide this up underneath like this. And uh, let's see, I think it's, yep, it's got it. Yeah, it's up underneath and it's just squared off a little bit. So now uh, I need you guys underneath here so you can see what's happening. So let's go up underneath and I just show you what's happening with the clamps. So I, I put the drill over on an angle, just leaned it back to the workbench so you could get a good look at this. This is the uh, clamp set that comes with the kit. And I've screwed this up into the uh, bottom of the table with this shaft. You have this uh, T-nut that you can tighten up with a washer. And you have these. I've got these set at the exact same distance and back to the table. So this is pretty much square with the old metal table that's on the drill press. So it's all basically one piece. And it's, it's held really well by the feels of it. So it's a good item. And if you decide you don't want this and you need it out of the way or something, all you have to do is loosen the, loosen the two uh, T-nuts off and you can slide this out of there and it'll be out of the way for something else if you need if you need be but I'll bring it I'm gonna bring this back forward here but yeah now I'm back up on top here and it has a, there's a scale on each side of these by the track for when you set your uh, when you set the the backstop depending on you know what you need uh, like I said it's very customizable that way so that's a pretty good thing the whole thing is is the product is, is very inexpensive but it really puts a lot of nice feature into a drill press for jobs that you're doing. I'm going to provide a link in the description below where you can get these and uh, it will, it's affiliate to the channel so it will help the, uh, it does provide the help with the channel and uh, so if you're interested uh, you know I would say I would say definitely uh, if you got a drill press whether it be a bench model or full stand-up model like this this is really a round of woodworker or any shop really these are really nice to have of course that's why this one's in here now the next thing i, I should mention too this is all uh mdf construction mdf is really good for like workbench tops that kind of it's very durable so uh, again i don't have a problem with mdf in fact it's it's pretty good stuff and um, the other thing i wanted to point out was there is an issue if you get this up too high you could run into this right here which even the when or any uh, drill press, you might find that a problem. So what they've suggested is simply unscrew these uh, to, down to just one or two or whatever you need in order to clear, to, in order to get the job done sort of thing. Not a big deal. Let's talk about the overall uh, size of this. If you decide to make your own, <laughs> you could. It's uh, almost 24 inch and it's, I believe it's 12 inches, yeah, 12 inches through. And the, uh, this back piece here is three inches high. The other thing that I was thinking about, and I don't have anything here, of course it'll work, but I know there's some clamps you can get that are hold down clamps that will go into these slots and you can you know, set them over on your lumber and lock something down. So that's, a, that's another you know, good feature. You can spend quite a bit on these and uh, I've seen them as high as $233. Tell you what, I'll provide a link in the description below for the $233 one if you'd like it. But this one here is right now on uh, at $43. So in with our recession, $43 is not much anymore. And rather than make one, I think it has enough features that it was like, you know what, this would be, this would be just great for the drill press. It'll, it'll give me the work area that I need. And I can also, you know, uh, I can also put, you know, leave blue bottles and all kinds of things laying all over the place on top of the drill press. Yay, more storage. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone for watching Coffee and Tools. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. That was the Wen uh, Drill Press Table. Wow, pretty cool item. And uh, I guess I'm over and out. Yeah, I'm done here. Wow. So until next time, which is Thursday because we have a draw coming up. With a booby prize, yeah, over and out.